So lessons I have learned, uh, and again, like the senator, I also am very loud, so I'm sorry if I'm reverberating off <laughs> the walls. Um, one is to be true to yourself. You know, there's a lot of people out there, um, and they want you to be something that you're not necessary that you're not, and you need to be comfortable with who you are. You need to be comfortable with the decisions that you make, and be unwavering. If you take a position, don't flounder, because the most unattractive thing for a politician or for anyone in the public eye is to say one thing and then backtrack and then go back to it and backtrack, hold your line, and just be confident in your decision. Um, the next thing would be keep your friends close, your enemies closer. <laughs> it's like Julius Caesar, there's always someone who's waiting in the wings to stab you in the back. Keep an eye on that person. But the friendships that you do make in politics, and I have a couple of friends in the audience that I've made through campaigns and just throughout my career in politics, those are the most valuable friendships because really it's so hard, and especially as a woman in this business, it's so hard to find other women who do what you do every day, day in, day out, and to know that they've got your back and even if you don't see each other for months, you, need, you have someone you can complain to and can talk to. So that'd be number two. Um, and my, my third one would be to make time for you. Whether it's you wanna exercise, you wanna go grab a cup of coffee with some friends or grab a drink, or you just wanna shut your phone off and watch old Desperate Housewives <laughs> reruns or whatever it is, you should take the time for you because no one is gonna ever give you that time and no offense to all the men here, but you know, the guys sit and they watch the foot, their football games or their baseball games or whatever else, and we as women, especially for the three of us where we have numerous children, children between all yeah. of us, you never have time for you, make some time for yourself. <laughs>